Iran, made for Reza Shah the Great, under the guidance of Sierra Ajedin, the world's most famous goldsmith, who ran away from a revolution in Russia and found the glory of Persia's magical treasures. Diamonds were his playthings and freehold restrictions. He could light the sky with diamonds, save when he faced the wonder of them all, the sea of light, the most fabulous diamond of all time now worth $85 million and weighing 182 carats. The crown of our present Empress Farah, the ultimate in modern day workmanship, the 20th century's answer to the famous Caucasian goldsmith. When Nadir Shah raised his sword against India, the blade was blood red with victory, while the scabbard scintillated with thousands of diamonds. The multicolored fan of the peacock pales before the glory of Persia's peacock throne. 27,000 precious stones set in gold, reflecting the majesty of a ruler who was then only second to God. nursery, the shape of the world was given meaning with jewels. The seas were emeralds and the continents were rubies and sapphires. Persia and England were done. 27 kilos of gold and 51,000 precious stones to teach a prince geography. Family jewels, the imperial sword, the crown of Shah Jahan, and the necklace of the mother queen. Rubies and yet more rubies. And there behind the dagger, a ruby now known to be the largest uncut bloodstone in the world. Mm -hmm. 